All right, so congratulations on an amazing film. Thank you. Yes, oh my gosh, my gosh. Yes. yes. So please tell our audiences a little bit about the character that you play in the film. Amelia Boynton, Miss, Miss Amelia, as mm. I call her, um, she um, was, has been an activist all of her life. She um, graduated from Tuskegee in her early 20s and went into activism. Um, she organized farm workers, she organized um, um, farmers to get their own, to be able to buy, get off of the farming uh, system where they were basically giving every, all of their crops, giving, it was, they were indent, indebted to the store where at the end of a year, no matter how much they had yielded, they always owed the store. Mm. And she found ways of getting those farmers um, out of that system and to be able to purchase farms together. Mm. Um, she has been moving and grooving and changing, quietly changing and empowering black people for all of her life. Mm. And so certainly was um, an instrumental member of the civil rights movement. Absolutely. So and when she, she when called Martin to come to Selma, um, Martin already knew that this woman was a powerful, was powerful entity in that area. A force to be reckoned oh, yeah. with. Yeah. And the remarkable thing that I was even speaking to David about is how many young people were responsible for, I mean, that's I crazy. That's one of the things about this film is that you don't, there are so many assumptions that certainly I have made about the civil rights movement without really knowing specifically and really paying attention. One of the assumptions I'd made was, well, I thought Martin was like in his 40s. Mm. They were in their 20s. I know. These were young brothers. Mm. These were young, fierce, fearless brothers that were, um, I, I just, to think of them, I mean, what was I doing when I was 27? <laughs> right? You know, I was not changing the world. <laughs> right, yes. I was not laying my life down <laughs> for a cause. That is so true. Um, so... There are so many assumptions that are, and myths that are blown out in yeah. this film, and that's the power of the film. You get an intimate view. You get an intimate um, um, perspective on these people. Yeah. They weren't historical back then. Right. They were just living and, yeah. and fighting for something they believed in. And, yes, trying not to get killed yeah. doing it. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Well, speaking of power, like, tell me what it felt like to be standing on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. I mean, what did that moment feel like for you? You know, um, the Edmund Pettus Bridge on Bloody Sunday where you know, when you, you see all those photographs in Life magazine and you've seen them, you know, they're, they're now um, iconic photographs. But to stand there, and the, the day before we started, sh the day we were shooting the Bloody Sunday, um, the cast, we got together on that bridge and we said a prayer mm. for um, the souls of all of our ancestors, our recent ancestors, mm -hmm. some still alive, but we looked down over that bridge into those waters and knew that there were spirits in those waters. There was such violence in that, in that part of the world um, that we really had to, as a cast, honor that and ask for guidance that we do so in, in the playing of it, mm. in the reenacting of it for, and it was not just the black actors, it was the white actors, because we were in it together. Mm. Amen, amen. Well, thank you so much. You did a remarkable job. Thank you. And it's such an important film, so thank you for that. Okay. Yes.